This is the rock and ice climbing course at Green Mountain College. The course is developed and designed for those that have never climbed before and can challenge those that have a few seasons under their belt already. It's a very methodical and deliberate process that people really grow to learn and, and love. <laughs> this is actually a tool, it's not an axe or a pick, it's actually a tool. And this adds is actually a very old traditional part of the tool. Excellent! What's that? Before they had crampons and they had to go get sheep that would in uh, more difficult terrains they couldn't walk in because it was icy. Those long uh, mountaineering axes, mm -hmm. they'd actually flip upside down and cut steps and they'd step in that one and they would cut another step. <laughs> okay, nice and tight. Don't move it. The color of ice indicates a lot of things. Um, this ice right here is generally pretty aerated. See how it's really white? You ever see the ice that's really brown and yellow and all shades of yellow and orange? Yes. That indicates a lot of recent runoff. So early in the season you see a lot of stained ice. That's from the minerals out of the ground. So you know that if it's a distinctive color, that the bond of the rock or the earth, whatever it's frozen to may not be super strong yet. Now don't swing until I can see you. You only get one swing. On uh, Mondays, we learn about all the climbing stuff in class, and then on Thursdays, we come out and uh, do what we learn in class in the field. I think it works really well because we learn it and then we climb, so uh, it gets drilled in like, twice as much. Oh, it's extremely exciting. I mean, when you're up there, you're just like hanging out on the wall and you're just so pumped, like, yeah, this is awesome. And you just love it. It's, it's, it's a crazy feeling of adrenaline. It's what you look for. What do you tell yourself when you get way up there? Keep going higher. <laughs> <laughs>